name is Amy Sturgeon. I am from Hamilton. I go to Sugar City High School. And my This uh, venture. Right on. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, good afternoon and welcome to City Hall. My name is Mark Ramsey. I'm the Mayor of Hamilton, uh, Councilor. So it, it's up to us to shine the light. That's why we called it SOS 4000, uh, because they're in need of, of these organs to save their lives. So it's up to us to shine the light. Uh, it's an honor to be back again. And uh, three years ago, I actually. You guys are at the back. I'm Jenna White. I'm a grade 12 student at Baptist High School. And I'm Chris Mara, also very close to the Did you cast a survey speech for you? No, no. I'm just very pleased to be the new torch bearer and uh, I'll do it or <laughs> <laughs> Okay, hold it. Hold it. Okay. Mark, if you like to just come in just a little bit. You got it, Chris. of our idea in SOS 4000 to get every student that's participating, every torch champion, uh, one day to get them all together at one place, like over 130 different. Uh, oh, that, that, would be, that would be awesome, right? That would be awesome. Are you, would you be for that? I would, yes. 100 yes, percent. You're one of those that works behind the scenes. You did a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And Everybody, please, if you notice coming down the middle of the stairwell, we have Amy Sturgeon who's carrying the torch. Like, uh, Chris.
If you can pick me up a carriage somewhere today, I will sign the Morgan Milburn carriage. Torch chair or bearer on behalf of Sugar Senior High School, and she was passed the torch by two students from Bathurst High, where uh, people on their student council they're involved, and I have their names here as Jana White and Kristen Murr. So thank you, ladies, for bringing the torch from Bathurst to our school. Uh, round of applause. For you. Great to be back as of the second time here at the Sugarloaf Senior High. Uh, drive this time. Well, actually, I wasn't supposed to drive until Halifax. Our van broke down, and uh, we had to drive. We had to ship it off to Toronto, and uh, when we did that, we had another guy on here on our road, and he had to drive the van back to Toronto. So. Me and George were left hitchhiking for a couple days, and uh, <laughs> uh, we got to uh, Liverpool, Nova Scotia, where we met an old famous singer named Bobby Gatola. Probably you might not have heard of him because he's from the 60s. I think it's important to uh, raise awareness in through, through, the, uh, through the students because sometimes, you know, their parents can't always get to everyone, but students, you get, you know, the whole student body and then in turn they can go back and relay the message to their parents and to, you know, their guardians about the issues. What do you think? Uh, we're hoping to create one big family from coast to coast. It was a good walk there. It was great set intention. It was good. Yeah, that's good. That's great. was the chief organizer, I mean, yeah, you no, know. Yeah, no, I think things went well, the students responded well, they listened, which is nice to see. Um, no, I, I think uh, Christopher speaks very well, and uh, I'm glad he was here and able to uh, convey his message across to the students. How do you think? Oh, that's what our ultimate goal that's is. That's a great goal, yeah. yeah. I, hope, I hope that the goal you know, is actually achieved, because that's a great Well, idea. thank you for coming out.